Yeah, obviously we played a really good Georgia team this weekend, uh, especially offensively. Coming in, they were the top offense in the league, uh, in league games. And so uh, it's clear they have a very experienced, talented lineup. Uh, our guys that pitch today really struggled against that approach. Um, but I'll take out of this series that uh, we really could have won all three games. Uh, all three games were there to be won at some point. So we're going to have to move on and, and keep improving. Saw some positive things today. Uh, CJ was good. Cam was good. Brett Thomas was good. So things we can build on for sure. Just what did you see from your pitching staff? Was how much of their struggle today was Georgia offensively or you guys not being able to throw strikes? Well, Aiden season? just was throwing a lot of balls in the middle of the plate and they got him in that first inning. Uh, he settled in after that and threw up two zeros. Again, I thought Brett Thomas was good. Kate Austin came in and battled, and, and Tringali and Wines were good there at the end. So those guys gave us what we needed, um, but we just had a couple mishaps in between there. Um, when they when they got up eight nothing, did what was what was kind of the emotion like in, in the dugout at that point? Did did the guys still still seem engaged and, and feel like that they could get to that Georgia bullpen? We scored nine runs. The answer would be yes. Yeah, the, the team did not give up at any point, um, and it's hard when you when you score four and then go back out and give up some runs. You score three, then you give up four. That's hard. It's hard for kids to do that. And the fact that we were down eight nothing and we ended up scoring nine runs. Uh, Clearly, that team kept playing very hard. Mark, I know hindsight's probably 2020, but with Becker yesterday, is there any part of you wish that you would have either not put him in or limited some of his pitches yesterday? No, no. The game was there to be won last night. The fact that we can give up a five spot or a three spot or a four spot like we did today, um, we're just – right now, it's, it's a decision we had to make. You know, if we had that one more guy right now, and maybe it'll be Wines, maybe it'll be Tringali, maybe it'll be Thomas. You know, if we can find that one more guy that we can hand the ball to, then we won't have to try to get creative there. And, and hopefully, hopefully those guys give us that ability because, yeah, sure, you would have loved to have uh, Becker start today. It could have been a, a totally different ball game. Um, but the way games have slipped away, we just don't have that luxury right now. If one, another guy steps up, it'll, it'll give us that ability. Just talk about Brent Belk for a minute. He had a couple big hits today. Now he's on a 20-game hitting streak. Yeah, he's been obviously uh, statistically our best hitter this year, our most consistent hitter. Uh, he's helped us at a lot of different positions. We've talked about this quite a bit. Uh, he's three more hits today. He's, he's an older, professional-type approach hitter. He, he swings at the right pitches. He takes the right pitches. He battles. He can hit with two strikes. He's a clutch hitter. He's just everything you want there at the top of the lineup. Seitler seems to be coming around too, and, and he's thrown out a couple of guys from, from the outfield as well. Just how, how have you seen him come along the last couple of weeks? Yeah, he's, he's made some really nice adjustments with Coach Kaye in terms of just toning the swing down a little bit and not overswinging. Now he's still, he still chased some fastballs up today, and that needs to be the next step in his development is laying off that pitch because that's where a couple of his strikeouts were today. Um, it, that's obviously how they're going to try to get him out. But when he's getting the ball in the strike zone, he's making – a lot more consistent hard contact, and, and it has become much more of a weapon offensively for us. I know this pitching staff has been absolutely hammered with injuries, but just how much, as you sit 12 games in a league play, can this pitching staff improve as you get into the back half, and how much of it is kind of you are what you are at this point? Well, it's, you know, a lot of that is going to have to do with is C.J. Wines, is, is the way he pitched today, can we count on him maybe doing that? Cam Tringali was throwing strikes today and, and 92, 93 miles an hour. If he can do that, that pitching staff can improve. Can Brett Thomas get a little bit better every time he pitches and throw that breaking ball more for strikes? Uh, at four strikeouts in two innings today. You know, Eli Jones, he was really good last week against North Carolina. It can get better. It can get better, absolutely. You're playing a lot of freshmen right now. Uh, some of them playing really well. Some of them are, are seem like yeah. they're hitting a little bit of a wall. Just as a as a as a group, mentally and physically, how, how do you feel like those guys are holding up right now? You know, they're freshmen. This league is not very kind to freshmen. Clearly, unless you're an elite of a, of the elite. 
freshmen struggle in this league. And, and you know, I think the, uh, you look at our offense compared to a Georgia offense, they just they go a little bit deeper with older, experienced guys. And top of our lineup, maybe the first five or six guys, we could match up with just about anybody. But then we've got some defensive-minded freshmen playing uh, down there at the bottom, and that can, that can slow, your, slow your momentum down a little bit at, at times. So they're battling. They're doing everything they can, and, and they'll continue to get better. Thank you. Thank you.